much. Hi, Sol. Well, uh, it's hard to believe, but Thanksgiving, it's right around the corner. It's next week. It's and so uh, we, I know. We, and we all know that it's a time where family and friends, they come together and uh, they want to give thanks. But they also, let's be real, they want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, turkey, stuffing, pumpkin pie are mm -hmm. just a few things that you can find at the table. But when it comes to those sides, yeah. they don't always have to be unhealthy. Mm. Today we're going to show you how to cut some of those calories. Take a look. So we're back with Katie Sampaio. She's an author, she's a nutrition expert, and she's also a trainer. And today we're going to be talking about healthy Thanksgiving options because Thanksgiving, it's right around the corner. Yeah, crazy, right? Yes. It's already here. It's already <laughs> here. Thanksgiving, I think people have the idea that they can just overindulge. They can eat until they sleep, right? Yes, <laughs> pretty much. That's what everyone looks forward to, eating yes. and sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But there are healthy options, guys. You don't have to get the canned jelly. You can make a really beautiful, healthy option for the jelly. So yeah. talk about some of the things we have here right now. So all of this are, diff are healthy Thanksgiving sides. So okay. I took the typical unhealthy stuff and I flipped them and then right. I added some just general healthy stuff that mm -hmm. you can add into the mix because if you notice on Thanksgiving it's like carbs. Yes, it's all bread, carbs, stuffing, everything. Bread. Yeah. So my whole goal with this was to lighten it up a little bit mm -hmm. so that we can still eat food that tastes good. But and you can fit dessert after. Yeah, because right? that's what I care about. Me too. The dessert is going to be unhealthy no matter what. Yes. But the rest of it is now not going to be so filling and weighing yes. you down. Yes. So this first thing that we have right here. So this is just a bunch of root vegetables that are roasted with some rosemary and olive oil and mm -hmm. that's it. So we have beets, which are a great fall vegetable to add in. Mm -hmm. We have sweet potatoes and carrots and that's it. So okay. now we actually have vegetables at the table instead of that overloaded green yes. bean casserole that is absolutely <laughs> a heart attack on a plate. <laughs> it's like loaded with stuff in it. So. Okay, and, uh, but it's not just plain. It's not just throw mm -hmm. stuff on a pan no. and we're not asking you to eat it plain. I see you have some rosemary mm -hmm. on top, right? Rosemary, salt, pepper, olive oil, and garlic. And, and that's you just it. put it right in the, in oven the pan, and bake it. 400 degrees. We have it on, okay. and it's for about 40 minutes. Wow! So and it's really quick. It looks really good. I'm a fan of sweet potato. I love mm -hmm. roasted sweet potatoes. I stole a carrot earlier before, and uh, it was good. It's good. <laughs> it's really good because I have a problem eating my vegetables too. Even though I'm yeah. a trainer, yeah. I kind of have to force myself to do it. But with this, I really, really just it, it, the. the I guess cooking it for that long really makes the flavors blend with it. Oh yeah. So that's really great. And okay. then over here, next item. So we have, you know, typical mashed potatoes, right? That mm -hmm. are loaded Everybody with butter, loves milk. Mashed potatoes. Like stuff that's uh, you know, it tastes great, but it's not really good that for us. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what I did is I took cauliflower. This is not a potato, this is cauliflower. I boiled the cauliflower and then I put it in the food processor with wow. rosemary, olive oil, salt and pepper, and garlic. Okay. And that's it. And is this something that people can do freehand? Do they need to measure? Uh, so just a, uh, I mean, yeah, roughly around one tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil. But for okay. the rosemary, I just kind of put in as much as I want. I put in two cloves of garlic because I like things extra garlicky. Me too. And then one Me whole too. head of cauliflower is going to get you about this much. So if you're feeding a huge family, I would double this. Yeah. Because this is what the whole head of cauliflower was. Okay. But if you're just making something throughout the week too, this is like perfect. This will get you about four meals, four servings. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, next up we have our... Cranberry. cranberry. And yes. like I said, you guys don't need to resort to the canned jelly. I no. like canned jelly. I have to get off of that train because this, I'm sure, is just as good. This is great. better. Oh, I love this. So I used to be all about the canned jelly too. And then I started, you know, really getting into nutrition and realizing that I should probably back off of that a little bit because <laughs> why does it look like that in the can? It's yeah. probably something yep. that you don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. So for this, cranberry sauce is my favorite part of Thanksgiving, as weird as that sounds, besides the dessert because it's sweet probably. But all I did was take fresh cranberries chunks of pineapple and chunks of a regular apple. That's wow, it. There's no sugar. It. There's no orange juice, which adds sugar to it. Usually when you see healthy recipes for cranberry sauce, they'll usually put orange juice in, but then you're just adding a ton of sugar. Ton of sugar. No, nope. right. like that's it. It's literally okay. three ingredients. Oh, and cinnamon. cinnamon. I have to try this try because this. I love cranberry too. And uh... it's good. Mm. So it's just on the stove together and then I put it in the food processor just to blend it down a little bit to make it more smooth and that really helps bring the sweetness out of the fruit. That tastes like so. apple pie. I'm not kidding. There we go. That <laughs> is amazing, amazing, amazing and healthier. Yeah, way healthier. The mm -hmm. sugar is like super low. You don't have to feel bad about it. Okay. And then the last thing we have is it's always nice to have a, a fresh salad. Yeah. You know, at every meal, I think. But let's not make it boring. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is my apple bacon harvest salad, which is in my number one best selling book. Okay. And we just have bacon, fresh apples, quinoa, quinoa. a healthy carb source, full of protein, and then fresh greens. Okay. And then my favorite part is the dressing. Yes. Um, apple 
apple cider vinegar and olive oil. Mm -hmm. You would think the apple cider vinegar, mm, too bitter, because that's what I think of. You can't even taste the bitterness. Yeah. It really is so delicious and healthy. Yeah, it's great. It's super easy to make. You don't have to worry about buying the dressing. You just mix it together, pour it over it. You yes. can leave it on the side for your guests, and that's it. So Amazing. yeah, that's a way that you can actually make your Thanksgiving meal healthy. healthy. So Very these are the, nice. the side options, because the turkey's not really the problem. It's the side it's that the we're side. eating. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. All right, well, we're going to dive in, and we're going to yeah. try some of this. But thank you so much for these tips. Yeah, so you're, helpful. you're welcome. And then if you guys want to get a free snack guide, which has a bunch of recipes that you can make in five minutes or less, you can go to katiesampaio.com. It's the first link there. It'll be sent straight to your inbox. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I got it all if you want to stay up to date with what I got going on. And she also has a fabulous cookbook. Yep, right there. Eat the Thrive Anti-Diet Cookbook. Everything can be number one bestseller. 30 minutes or less, number one bestseller. So get it on Amazon. Amazing. Thank you so much, Katie. Bye, right, thanks. Yum. Yum. I will be the first to admit I love eating on Thanksgiving. I love the mashed potatoes. I love the pumpkin pie. Uh, but her sides were delicious. The cauliflower, uh, you can't even tell, honestly, besides the consistency. It was great. Yeah, and it's definitely true that you eat so much that by the time you get to dessert, you're so full. You don't cool. want it. I usually have to wait <laughs> like an hour to eat yeah, dessert. Yeah, to eat dessert. So I know. So doing the light sides, I think, will help. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, next week, we'll be discussing how to uh, portion your meal so you do not overeat.